What up guys, your boy City Night 209. If you guys are watching this, that means you guys are tuned in. Appreciate it. Thank you for the love. Anyways, long story short, I posted a YouTube short about a week ago, I believe. This video was shot about maybe almost a week and a half. Sorry I took too long to release it, but it's a banger, guys. You guys will love this. It's the last crawfish haul of the season for this location. Not for crawfish, though, because you got a rice field coming up. Ending of September, it's going to be nothing but crawfish in the rice field. But enough talking about the rice field for now. Let's talk about this video we about to get into. Now, if you watched my previous video uh, where I'm catching baby lobster, this is the same location. The only difference is the water is down. The water um, level is really low. So that, that means crawfish is getting ready to go hibernation mode. They're getting ready to dig themselves and bury themselves in the dirt where you can't get them anymore. But I've been doing this for years, so during this time of the season, they're just starting to get into hibernation mode. They're not fully in hibernation mode. So me and my brother, what we do, Ricky Love, of course, is always tagging along with me. What we do is we like to go out there, we like to dig holes. We stick our hand in holes where you guys would not want to put your hand in there. Trust me, you guys are going to look at it like, uh-uh, I -uh, ain't no way I'm sticking my hand in there. But we have experience in this and that's what we do. I'm talking about our hand will go inside that hole all the way down to our shoulder. It, be, it gets deep. And in these holes, they have crawfish. A lot of them, they're hiding in there, getting ready to hibernate. And we just pull them out, you know, and take them out their home. <laughs> Long story short. So yeah, enough with that. In, North, in California, these canal rivers and the creek, they go in hibernation mode, but that's when the rice field season begins. The rice field season, I want to get into more, a little more detail about the rice field season. A lot of people reach out to me saying, hey, they go to the rice field, they're getting sighted by fish and wildlife. Oh, you will, because majority of the rice field in California are private property and no trespassing. The only way you can get in there if you know the owner. And if you know the owner, you got to give them a call and say, hey, you know, we're coming out here and call fish. If they give you the okay, then yeah, you're good to go. Nobody can mess with you. But if you don't know them, you know, be careful, guys. A lot of people going out there getting crawled that that's getting sighted. Just be careful, that's all. This year it might get worse. I don't know. I only can speak for myself because, yeah, like I said, I do know the owner. Me and my brother do, and they give us permission to go out there and catch crawfish. And I asked him to shoot a video to show him how these crawfish, you know, work in the rice field. He said, okay. And I'm like, all right, cool. You know, we're good to go. Anyways, yeah, that's the backstory of all that. And this video right here you're about to see is a banger. Hope you guys like it. Give me to a thousand subscriber. I hope you guys enjoy. See you guys on my next one. If you stay tuned for future content, you got to hit subscribe and, and get notified because you're going to miss out on these crawfish, you know, adventure that I'm about to show you guys. You know, I'm about to share my experience with you and hopefully you guys can learn off of it because I have a lot of outdoor, you know, experience. You know, in my childhood, I'm growing up. All I did was outdoor, fishing, crawfish, I'm in sturgeon fishing, striper, bluegill, like I'm all over the place when it comes to California, you know, and I've been from South Cal to North Cal, you know, doing outdoor adventure videos, like, but the thing is, I never really got into it until a couple friends of mine, or you know, say brothers, I call brothers, say, hey, yo, City Night, I think you're onto something, you know? You have a lot of experience in what you do, you know, you love, you're passionate about what you do. Why don't you make a YouTube, you know, memory for yourself and then, you know, show people, you know, around California how they could get down just like you. And I was like, hey, you know what? That's a good idea. So that's what I'm here and that's what you're seeing. So I hope you guys can get me to a thousand subscribers, show me some love. And um, I hope you learn a lot from my experience and, you know, maybe, maybe do better. That's all. But enjoy the video. Catch you on my next one. Thanks again, guys. See you in my future content. Peace. Check this out, man. Me and Rick, so forget it one last time. Coming back to the place where we always fish crawd at. But bad news is, the water is down. So it dropped like 15 to 20 feet. So what that means for the crawfish is, they're going to hibernation mode. They're digging holes to hibernate for next season. Me and my brother decided to do one last run. Ricky Love right there. We decided to do one last run. And this time we're going to dig holes for these crawfish. I'm talking about, we're going to show you how we get down with the fingers. But yeah, when I get there, I'm going to show you. And I hope you guys like it. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Show me some love, guys. Stay tuned. 
see you guys when we get to that location and I'll show you how low the water got. Yeah, that used to be filled with water. Yeah, right? All these used to be filled with water. That tree line right here, at least probably like 10, 15 foot of water used to be. Look at this, that used to be, that used to be all covered with water. That's how low it went down. The last time I was here, this little pool right here, you see, it was underneath the water. Look at that. Yeah, this water's going down that fast. These crawdads is all gonna be digging holes to hibernate so they can get ready for next season. And we're gonna go and disturb it and get some crawfish to put in our freezer, guys. Y'all gonna be tagging along with us. Captain Rick here. Yes, sir. <laughs> we're on it. Along the way, we bump into some OG. The fishing right there for some catfish. They're catching a lot of channel cats. I should have stopped and talked to them. Oh, uh, we missed out on that one. But yeah, this water is mad low, guys, mad low. No fishing for them today. We're just gonna go look for crawdad holes and just dig for crawdad. Look how sketchy it's getting. The water's getting narrow, it's getting lower. We're gonna go into a part where it's just a creek. That's how that's how far we're going in. There's a lot of crawdad hole here too. So we're gonna stop by and look at all these crawdad holes right here for crawfish. I gotta help Rich navigate, so I gotta turn off my phone. See you guys when I get there. Just cruising along. We got some more fishermen out here. Yeah, fishing. Any catfish, Mana? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, the water's getting more sketchier. It's getting more smaller as we go in and in. So now we really gotta watch how we drive this boat because we're hitting sand bins as we drive. It's hard to tell. We just hit another sand bin, there it is. But Rick has experience in this water, so he's the captain of the expedition. He's the expert of this expedition. Look how sketchy that look, guys. Look how sketchy this look. Oh yeah, we're going in there, in there. Look at this. Look at the red D in the alley. Huh? Yeah, it. yeah we crazy. <laughs> Call us crazy. But we crazy. getting narrow so we're lifting up the motor pulling the trim up and we're in a t-can too a 14 foot t-can i have to get out and walk it's how low it is we gotta get down here but you think you make it through might be shallow good It's deep right here, it's hella deep right here, Rick. It's deep, it's deep. Watch out, Rick, turn. Oh, is it this part, right? Yeah. Can we give me a stick? We're hitting a stick in front of us, stick in front of us. Go ahead. Somebody chopped all these, these trees, these branches, you know? To get their boat there, we gotta walk right here, Rick. I got it. Pulling it. Yeah. Look how crazy it looks. It's crazy, man. Look at that. Oh, yeah. A lot of crawdads in there. A lot of crawdad holes. Yeah, this is what we're doing. We're walking now. We're in the water on foot. 
Oh my God, I see so much crawdad. Check this out. Look, look at all them crawdad in there. Look at all them. All right, this is what I mean by we digging the hole. We're in one location. Rick, show them how to get it done. See all the underneath there in these holes? Look, Rick is already getting them. He's going inside. You can see it. Both hands. Watch what he comes out with. Digging a hole. Look, look at this. Ooh, that came out of there. So, yeah, all along this whole area, that's what we're going to be doing. I got to help out, guys. So, I'll try to record as much as I can. This is our little tea can. See you on a bit. This is how they hibernate, guys. See how they dig the mud out like that? They're inside that hole. Yeah, I saw they hibernate up in there. So, let me show you how I get them. This hole looks pretty deep. Let's see how far it goes in. All right. There it is. Pull them out. Look at that. See that? Look at that, guys. Pull them out of this hole. This one. They're always in pair for these little holes. <clears throat> yeah, that's how we're digging it. That's how we're getting out. It's the last season of it. That's all you're gonna get, boys, until rice field. Rice field's next week. That's when we're going to rice field. in this hole guys oh shit get some more yep. so you good guys see that How you finish taking the hole look so sh i'm in a, a deep spot right now but uh, most of it's like one feet two feet in the shallow uh, dragging a boat going to our next hole location after we dig the hole, we fix it a little where they come back the next day. They come back in there and bury themselves in and hibernate. Sunset right now, what happened usually sunset? They all go in the hole and bury themselves. Should be a lot here. Let's keep it the action. Let's go, baby. Look, you already got some. Let's go. Look at this. Look how they lay in the little hole like that. Right. So now it's going on it. Yes, sir. Look at that. This is how we get down. Look at it here. It's a little spot like this. That's where we at. That's where we at. Oh, one came up. Chase him up. Got one right here. Ran right into me. Got it? Alright, put my camera down, help him out. Go ahead. A couple minutes to spare. A lot of crawl action there. Yeah, they stay in their little hole. Ooh, we keep going at it. There's a whole house load over there. Look at that guy. Look at that guy crawling. Can I see him? Alright, let me, let me put it down. Gotta help him out. Key on it. He's out. I'm taking a little two minute break. I guess I'm dragging a boat around. Oh, it's a mission, guys. It's a mission where we're at. We went through that. We had to get off our foot and walk. See that? A little creek. Jeez. 
Y'all want to see the hog? There's this, this sack, about three five gallon bucket in here. Another three five gallon bucket. I didn't record a lot of it like I told you guys. These two sacks hold six buckets of this size. Five gallon bucket is six of them total in this sack. That's how, how much we've been working. And still look at the daylight. We still got a lot of daylight. Look at this guy. And we came out like. Look at this. Go ahead, Rick. Talk to him. Look at this guy. That's a fatty. They come off another one. Look. Ooh. They come off from this side. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, stick his whole hand in there. Yeah. Right. See, look at this, look guys. At this, look at this. It's pretty love for you. He getting in there. Oh, Ooh, look at that guy. Yeah. He digging that hole, too. Another one they, they, they hibernate in there. Now look at this. They out there. Don't think we're tearing their home up or anything like that, you know, if you guys are watching. So what happened is the next day, there's millions of crawdad in here, millions. What they do is they come up and, and go back into the hole we just dig and make it their home. So they're always going to replenish themselves. Yeah. I told you, we got it like almost 435. Look how many daylight we still have. So we got that much. And it's just me and my brother Rick. You get down, man, when it comes to stuff like this. Stay tuned for some some more. Call this the tree of life, guys. <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> oh, that web, it's like white, like frost on the tree. But it's all spider web. Call that the tree of life. Yeah. Our journey's about to end. We're just catching it as we go along. We're walking our way back. We got about 10 mile ride back. So yeah, it's gonna be a long ride. <laughs> Rick is over to submerge. Oh man, I hooked up. We stopped by for a second. He hooked on a fish, look at him. Look at him, he hooked up. We just passed uh, some fishermen on the bank while we was crawfishing and he just caught a fish. Nice, we wanna see it. Oh, okay. All right. On the way back in, baby, look how beautiful this looks. Calm water, sunset. About to be 8 o'clock. Looking gorgeous, baby. about like 10 five gallon buckets we did a killer haul today got here like what 4 35 and it's barely seven about to be to eight o'clock and we're leaving it's the last trip for this spot here no more baby all rice field coming up on my next content see you guys then appreciate the love guys show some love Ricky. comment below what else y'all want to see what ricky love to do he crazy like that peace guys <laughs>